So far, our user form has been pretty grey and bland, although we have experimented with a little bit of colour on the command buttons. Now we can use images. We can add images to command buttons, or we can use images in their own right as objects on your user form. Let's take our form template which has all the outer trappings of our form. Now, we can either add images to command buttons that exist or add a new command button. And what that does is it gives you a command button, a clickable item that effectively goes in and out like a button, but with a picture on it. So if you want to add a picture to a command button, obviously the first thing you're going to need is a command button. So I select the command button, click and drag. There's my command button, CMD pick. Now there are a number of ways of adding pictures. I can come down to the picture here, click in where it says none, choose the browse and browse through my system for a picture to bring in. Or if I want to use a clip art image, I can insert that piece of clip art into Excel. Here's a tick. I've done a search for yes here to get a tick. I can then select that image, right click and copy. Come back into the Visual Basic, come down into the picture option. And instead of browsing, I can simply click into here, remove the non and paste. And you can see it now says bitmap here, but more importantly, the image has appeared on the button. So when I run the form, I can see it is a button. It's still a rectangle with sides and it acts like a button when I click on it, but it now has an image on it, which hopefully will give people something more exciting. So I can do like any piece of clip art. Probably clip art is the best type of image to add rather than one from your machine. Because don't forget, this image is going to increase the size of your Excel file. So the smaller the image, the better. Now, that's fine, but it looks like a picture on a button. If you want this to be circular as the image is, then really you need to add an image on its own. So let's go back into the form. If you want to add an image, we simply select the image from the toolbox, come across, click, drag. Now this is an image rectangle and I can add the same image that I've already got on the clipboard. Come down to picture, paste, and I can see the picture appears. However, unlike the command button where it fit itself on purpose, it doesn't fit here. The image is obviously bigger than the rectangular area and it's using up too much space. So I need to choose picture size mode. There's a nice little drop box. I can either stretch the image or I can zoom in. So if I stretch it, it will be stretched out of proportion to fill this rectangle. If I choose zoom, it will stay in proportion, be at the correct zoom, but in proportion for the image. Now it being a rectangle and that being a circle, I wasn't too far off. Now, one of the advantages here is it doesn't look like a button, it looks like an image. However, if I view that, you'll see that it does have a border around it. Go back into design, select the image, border color, border style, I can choose a non. So I don't have a border around it. Back style, let's choose transparent. So we can see through the image. So when I run that, you see I get the image. Now it's not entirely see through the image. Obviously it doesn't quite work in transparency in that I've got a white area here, but we can negate that by changing the properties of the form to have a background color of white as well. So I'm using the user form sample back color white. But when I view that, you now don't see the rectangular shape of the image. You just see the picture. Now, although we have command buttons for clicking on and we can add actions to them, you can add actions to a straightforward image as well. Simply select the image, double click to take you into the code. And you can see the default is the click trigger. So when we click on the image, well, let's pull out a message box just to prove that we can do it. You clicked the picture. Now, hopefully you're seeing the potential there and let's actually close the form as well. For adding images, instead of plain boxes, the images could be used to display product images possibly, or they can be used as we've done here to indicate what to do. So let's go back to the form, run the form. And now when we click there, we get you click the picture. When I say OK, it closes the user form because that's the code we've added behind the click trigger for, in this case, image one, because I haven't given it an any more sensible name than that. So we can use images in our user forms either 
as images on a combo box or as images in their own right using the image tool. And then they can have actions against them just as anything else can. So we can use them for effectively asking decisions. We could have a nice yes and a nice no graphic as opposed to a yes and a no on a command button. Or you could create some nice OK and cancel graphics to use the OK and cancel buttons instead of having to use a command button. 